dictating what you can wear. What's next? Demanding boyfriend approval? Oh, you're darn right. Nothing but a prince for my princess here. What if he's not exactly your idea of a prince? What if who is not exactly my idea of a prince? If I met someone. I mean, if I really, really liked someone, you would let me date him, wouldn't you? Of course. You like who you like. Oh, I knew it. I knew you just always understand. My Abby, is that a leading question? You think maybe you have something you'd like to confess? She's just teasing. It's kind of like finally having sisters. Yeah, except this sister happens to be your biological mama. Well, it's a compliment. You know, I think of you as a mother, too. Yeah, I do. And it makes me feel all mushy inside, even if I don't deserve it. You do. You've been so great to me. You know, Abigail, I, we haven't gotten to spend a lot of time together, but it's been the best of my whole life. You mean it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> and Carly, have you ever seen me so happy? No. <laughs> I've never seen you so happy. And so incredibly happy person. Tell me you're gonna let Abby model in the show. Well, Holden has the final say. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I know I can convince him. I just need the date. Oh, God. I can't hear myself thinking here. What? Oh, I'm sorry, were you trying to say something? How did you guess? Barbara, Jennifer, this is Abigail Williams. Holden and Molly's daughter. Why, yes, of course, I've heard so much about you. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's nice to meet you too, Miss Ryan. And you, Jennifer? Or do people call you Jen? Jen, Jennifer, whatever. How about you? Abby, Abigail, whatever. <laughs> well, why don't uh, you two girls grab some hot chocolate? My treat. I can take a hint. Mm -hmm. Let's go skip things out. Abigail. She's a sweetheart, huh? Yes, she's lovely. Well, shall we plan this? Yeah, of course. I uh, have the music all set up. No, no, no. I mean, uh, uh, music is music's a great thing, but not whatever was blaring when I walked through the door. Oh, come on. This is in, Barbara. It's what's happening. It's not happening in my show. Our show. I did choose the music myself. So you're Madeline too, right? Yeah. And then Molly and Holden are so cool. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to say no to Carly. <laughs> yeah, tell that to my mom. I'm so glad you're doing this, though. I thought I'd be the only human under the age of, like, the voting age. Limp <laughs> biscuit, red hot chili peppers. Let's talk menu later, okay? It's not food, Barbara. They're, they're bands. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Limp Peppers, I remember, but this is a fashion show, not a rock concert, Carly. Okay, so, uh, what sort of music did you have in mind, Barbara? Well, I think something a little more sophisticated, a little more subtle, some Ron Paul, some Galway. Never heard of them. They're flautists. They play the flute? Oh, flute players! Well, that's great. Flutes are great in an elevator. But we need to wake these people up, you know? Hot music and strobe lights and bright colors. Carly, people are coming here to see our collections, not to come to some psychedelic rock and roll light show. Hey! How's it going? Great! great. Fab, rad, just really wonderful. We have a few creative differences between the two of us, but we're working them out. Uh, should I come back later? No, no, Jack. Carly has a very unique... Vision, while mine is, well, it's a little more subtle, a little more understated. Always worked for me. Right. And your track record is amazing. But um, I'm trying to work with uh, younger people. And for those of us under 40, well, understated just doesn't, just doesn't cut it. <clears throat> oh. Well, that's a rather rash generalization. Perhaps, but true. But, uh, to let me take the first half of the show. Why? Why would, would it be better for the event on a whole? Well, because my customers expect a certain kind of music, a certain decorum on the runway, and they might find your creativity a little off-putting. Well, they might. 
But the thing is, my line appeals to a younger audience, younger consumer. And younger people tend to leave charity events a little early. Oh, I see. I'm not hip enough for anyone born after 1960. Uh, no, I didn't say that. But you just made a snide remark. BRO is timeless. <sighs> Your aged customers may think so. But their granddaughters want to set trends. They aren't afraid. They want to be bold. You know what? We both think you're wonderful. Yeah, in different ways. <laughs> this was a lousy idea. We will never find common ground here. Not if you don't compromise. When it comes to charity, I'm willing to compromise on everything except my integrity. It's absurd to think that we're in the same league. So that's what it's all about, then. You think you're too good for me? No, no. I think that I've been running a respected fashion house for years. You tell me when the last time you took a pencil to a sketch pad. I've had some success. It was a while ago, but I'm picking up right where I left off, and I'm determined to be even better than I was before. I, I seem to remember that success. Yes, and where was that exactly? Hong Kong, and you can drop the attitude. I had a show there every season. Oh, well, very impressive. But tell me, why did you abandon it? Or did it abandon you? That hardly matters. Oh, yes, it does. I want to know with whom I am working, you see. With whom? I want to know why you abandoned it. There's nothing to tell. Oh, yes, there is. Small town girl makes it big in the big city and then crashes and burns. There's a story there, Carly. You're just not telling. All right. What is it you want to know? I want to know exactly what happened in Hong Kong. If you were such a success, why did you walk away? Successful at a very young age. I just, just didn't know how to handle it, that's all. So you gave it up? Mom, I just missed home. I need to regroup, figure out my next step. I see, I see. So you dabbled in fashion for a couple of years, and then you came back home a failure, and since then you've tried everything to make a buck, from falsifying your baby's paternity to waiting on tables. Barbara, is this necessary? If it proves that she and I do not belong on the same stage, then yes. Well, then don't go on the same stage. At least not at the same time. Meaning what, Jennifer? You could switch back and forth during the show. I mean, you start out with your designs, Mom, you know, with some classy music, some soft lighting. Yeah, and then Carly gets her chance with rock music and strokes. That way everybody could see both your designs. Thanks a lot, guys. That really wouldn't work. It just freaked people out flipping back and forth. Well, like you better figure something out, or neither one of you will have a show. Look, Barbara, Take the first half. Really? Why'd you change your mind? You're right. You have the, the big name. You should get first dibs. Thank you. I was just trying to make this work, okay? I'm trying, Carly. I'm really trying. Good morning. So even Sleeping Beauty has to eat. Emma told me you were up all night working. I didn't think you'd ever wake up. Oh, so Emma left me this breakfast, no, huh? No, Emma's off at a Grange meeting. I made this myself. It smells great. You deserve the best. Oh, really? For what? For lazing around doing nothing? I can't believe Christmas is over. Wait, Christmas is... <laughs> Christmas is over, Jack. It's over! Yes, it is, and you won the bet. Not one lie in all these months. So what do you want to do to celebrate? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm so swept up with all this fashion show stuff. Oh, God. I, can can you take that? Yeah, please? sure. Um, operator, could you please get me the number of a, a hog farm? I forgot that there was something that I need to order. You're calling a hog farm? I had a brainstorm about the fashion show. Yes. 555 five, five, IHOG. Got it. Actually, could you could you just dial that for me? It's brilliant. It's simply brilliant. We're gonna have all the models walk down the runway with a pig on a leash. Isn't that great? Pigs are actually very intelligent animals. Did you know that? Do you think we have time to make little bow ties? Barbara for them? will drop out of the show, Carly. I know. <laughs> you know how I love to hog all the glory. <laughs> you little. <laughs> Hang up the phone. This is an enormous whopper, isn't it? 